All right, so am I. Hi, guys. Today, the thing of the day is, what if, what if Joel Osteen took on Oprah's personality? Dad's over there laughing. Could you imagine Joel Osteen hosting the Oprah Winfrey Show for a day? Could you imagine that? Sure. Say, he said, sure. Jesus comes to Oprah. It'll be, that, that'll be interesting. Jesus and Oprah sitting in a tree. Everybody <laughs> gets a blue cross. Blue cross. Wait, like blue cross, blue shell health insurance? Close. Oh yeah, look on your chairs. Health insurance. <laughs> Wait, that would be a, a supposed... No, that wouldn't work. That would have been an Obama thing, but I, I don't think... I mean, we can't count that because he made our rates like triple or whatever, so I can't count that. Sorry. We just have... I mean, would you think... That would have like a weird Christmas special, wouldn't you think? No, I can go for it. You go for it? I might actually go to Joe Osteen if that was the case, just to see legitimacy of him taking on Oprah Renfrey's personality. That would be funny. How about for go to Osteen's church? You know, I would probably have better odds. And everybody gets a free pen. A free pen? Yeah. Pens are expensive. No. Give them a quote, you know, you know your business cards, yeah. and just say, you know, Oprah, the Oprah show, what time, and you know when it starts, or on the back of the card, let's say like all the provi cable providers that provide the cable for uh, the channels for Oprah Winfrey, yeah. and all her, all on her, her network and everything, she'll get free advertisement to the community for Joe Osteen, and all the people from, and all the people from Oprah, get they'll know a little bit more about Jesus, in a weird way. You can't know much about Jesus if you follow Osteen. Well, I know that, but that's not the point. I know you can't have both, but you know. Oh, God. I'm just misguided, you know. We all are in a weird way. Some more than others. Hmm. Maybe Osteen has it right. Dad, we already talked about this philosophy. It's like the Muslims have it right, you know? And the soul of the Buddhists, the soul is the Pope. All right. Yeah, they all have it. The Catholics it. must have it right. They're going for everybody. You know, <laughs> okay, I have to explain something. <laughs> okay, you know the Mormons, they go door to door, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. They got it right. They go out. They go out. They separate on Halloween. Door to door. You know, being a Mormon must suck because even if you go door to door, you don't even get candy out of it or anything. <laughs> you get your door slammed. You get names cuz Oh, Mike, actually, we actually had a group of Mormons come to my apartment when I had it. Uh -huh. And Michael kept chanting, Hell, Satan. Oh. And I kind of had to tell him, go away. You have to kind of go. Because I knew he was going to get more rowdier than that <laughs> the longer they stayed. They didn't try and convert him? Uh... Not when he yells Hell Satan on the third floor of my apartment building. No. Mm. Not to mention the neighbors are kind of outside. Mm. So it kind of made me look really bad. They make you look at all. My one yelling. Yeah, I know, but it came from my apartment. So, oh. you know. Look at your neighbors anyway. 